Hello everyone, Quickshot14 here again. Um, happy to report that it looks like I pretty much have my uh, library done that I've been working on, as you guys uh, hopefully knew uh, a while ago. Uh, it's it's pretty much finished. Uh, I only need to add a couple more, uh, I guess, some comments and some basic documentation for you guys to use. I will release it on sc2maps.com, probably under assets. Uh, Probably as a zip file or or both as, uh, an, or two different files, the actual library file, which I suggest, please, 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 if you're going to import it into your map, make sure you use that library file. Don't try to copy it from the map, and I will include this test map as well, so you have an example to look at of, of how I called it, and hopefully you guys can make use of it there, just as an example of how it works. And that's all this map is. So I'm just gonna jump in and 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 show you uh, how it looks, how things works. This is just an example map. This is by no means the limitations of the engine, or not the engine, the library. Uh, it's just showing it off in very basic way. So you, you've seen this before on my other one. I have added a few more buttons here. Uh, so before you remember when I added new items, it was doing it kind of a weird order. I figured that out. It's fixed. Apparently, when Blizzard uh, adds items to their list boxes, they do it in a very odd fashion. Um, basically, when you add one new item, that's the first item, and you add a second item, it's actually the, considered the last item. It's kind of weird. Uh, but in either case, it works just fine. So, uh, let me just uh, populate the list here. Uh, this list box, we don't do much with. I don't add any items or anything, I just haven't set any buttons or anything to do that. Most of it happens here, but there is some swapping, and you're going to see that here. So let's just add some new items into the list box here. This is all in real time, as you might notice, which is pretty freaking cool. So we got a whole bunch here. Let's add a unique one. This is all being done dynamically. Uh, so just what that means is when I'm adding a new item, uh, usually takes two, two, two pieces of information when you're adding a new item to a list box. It takes a unique ID and, and the actual text. Text can be whatever, but the ID has to be unique to each list box. Uh, by leaving the ID blank, uh, just as quotation marks, just blank, it will uh, automatically create a dynamic ID. We have a unique one here, and if you notice, I'll add a few more. If you notice, I uh, have that here, it's right here. Now if I add, try to add another one, I can click all day long and it's not going to add it because that ID already exists. Um, so yeah. So real quick, uh, let's go over a couple things. Uh, I can move these items to this box and I can move items from this box to this box. Now there's a couple of uh, options uh, when, you, when you do that and how you set it up is up to you and your list box. You can either have them be able to send over with the exact ID or they can come over with a new ID. For the the purposes of this test to show things, everything being sent back and forth uh, is going with a new ID. Now, I could have made that where it comes over here and keeps its original ID, but when it comes back over here, it's going to do a new ID, but it uh, doesn't matter. So let's just move these items over here. There we go. So we got nine items over here now, and as you can see, 10, 11. And this is just a standard count, so it really won't matter. And I can add some more. And as you notice, it's keeping the order right. It, it reorders everything. It's very dynamic. And so if I remove uh, some items, you'll see I'll remove up to like 20 here. So all those items are gone. It's adding just fine. Uh, it reorders everything and keeps it all in check. I'm going to try to try to get through this as quickly as possible. You can swap lists. This is a straight swap. It's literally just swapping the list from one to the other. I can even just replace the entire thing here. So in, here in list two, boom. Now it's an exact copy of this. Very important, this is a copy. It's still a different list box uh, with different items than this one that it calls to, but it's an exact copy of the contents. Um, there's also a move option that I don't show here that'll actually move all the contents from one list box to the other and clear out the other list box. So works just like copy except it clears out the the, um, the source, if you will. The last most important thing I want to show you guys, really, that's pretty important, is of course changing text. It doesn't do nothing, 
because I haven't typed nothing in. So let's just type something in. Uh, just something like that, and boom. Real time. There you go. This was the primary reason why I took on this venture from uh, Yabbit and everything. He couldn't change uh, list item text once he put something in because of the limitations uh, right now with list boxes and being able to access it. Well, now you can. Um, this is very, just a very basic example using this dialog system, but I, I see I can I can go ahead and just keep changing it, or if I want to do and there you go. So just kind of an example and like I said I can remove and it does, it just it removes so let's just remove that all and I'm going to put all these in here I'm very proud of this. I'm very happy with how this turned out. It looks like it came out pretty good. Um, so that's the example map, just showing a very basic example of how it works. It was also good for testing reasons. Um, so the actual library is, uh, uh, I call it dynamic li uh, list box library. This should work for drop downs. I haven't tested it, but I don't see any other reason it shouldn't. I know they use pretty much the same uh, parameters most important thing is when you're going to put it in, and you'll see this uh, here in Melee Initialization, I have all the dialogues and everything, and the most important is, of course, associations. And like I said, I'm going to try to put some some uh, information here for you guys to do this, but there's a lot uh, to uh, look at here. Here's all the, uh, this is the actual things that makes everything work, all the different uh, functions and actions that have it work. Um, if you missed my work in progress one, I talked a little bit about how it works. Uh, right now, it's limited to, uh, um, excuse me, 25 list boxes with 100 items per list box. Uh, obviously, you can increase that and change that as you want. So, if you want more, you can add more. If you want less, you can set it for less. Uh, your choice. Um, like I said, I'll try to add as much in the way of comments that I can. Uh, especially about the different functions and and where they're used but I will definitely try to include this test map localized if I can uh, so you guys can use it as an example again please do not try to copy the library directly out of this map please use the included library right click on you on to bring up your libraries here right click on it and then you just go over to library and do an import of the library uh, it's kind of important those of you who messed around with libraries and stuff, other people's libraries know why. So I, I'm not going to go into great detail. It's it's around here information about that. I am running out of time, but I just want to show you guys. Uh, this is actually all the clicks for the buttons, and as you can see, they're all just one simple call to each function that I want it to do. You can see uh, the change dialog or the change text is right here. So it basically says, hey, if there's no for this little test, if there's no text uh, that we're storing, then then don't, or if there is text, sorry, that's a not, my bad, uh, then go ahead and change it, and uh, you simply just provide the list box information and all this stuff. The most important thing you got to do is after you create your list box and you stick it into a variable, you're going to want to, instead of putting items into it uh, like you did, have done before, you're just going to associate it. Do this: create a new association between uh, the variable name of of that what's storing your your list boxes or your drop down, and then the list number, which is done by preset, which is just an integer really, uh, but just to make it easier for you guys to 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 pick stuff out. I've tried to make this as as fairly straightforward as possible for you guys to look at and actually use. Like I said, I'm going to add some comments, help you out. This test map should hopefully help out too. Uh, if anyone has any ideas, comments, uh, functions, and things that they would like to see added, uh, by all means do so. Uh, for the text option, you can do a straight replace, which is what we showed in the test. You can also do an append before and after, so you can actually set text to go before existing test text that's in there or after the existing text that's in there. I figured that would be pretty nice for you guys. Again, the ID change that you saw earlier, um, and of course the list box options when you're doing the swap or the copy of the move. So, yeah, 
And that's pretty much what I got. I, I'm pretty much out of time here for this video, and I don't want to go any further. So, any feedback, of course, I see 2masters.com, uh, scripting and trigger uh, libraries uh, uh, form is where our, this is going to be at. Of course, you can also post comments on the uh, assets page that this is put on. Hopefully, it should be out by the time this video goes live on YouTube. Uh, so, definitely look for it at sc2masters.com. I, I hope you guys find it useful, and I hope it's a uh, uh, really good use. So, thanks, guys.